Well, machines are also transforming Madison Avenue and redefining the future of advertising. Julia Burston reports tonight from Adweek where the technology that's changing marketing is front and center. No technology will transform advertising in the next few years as much as artificial intelligence, making marketing messages customized and interactive. Hi there. Today's startup Ventana unveiled a hologram designed to interact with consumers in stores and malls. Co-founder and COO Ben Conway gave us a sneak peek at the hologram named Julie. Julie, I'm hungry. That's a good one. Give me one second. If you're looking for a sit-down meal, head to the Italian restaurant on two for their signature pasta dish. But not all artificial intelligence is so futuristic. 50% of all marketing leaders are already using AI for things like ad targeting and placement. With marketers surveyed by Salesforce for a report out in June saying their AI use will grow more than 50% over the next two years. But artificial intelligence certainly isn't foolproof. Both Facebook and Google have recently been in the news for the failures of AI, such as racist and anti-Semitic ad targeting terms, or their failure to identify and pull down violent and extremist content. That's why both companies are investing more in human oversight. Just this past Friday, Facebook announced it's doubling its team focused on election integrity. The technology, when you see issues like we're seeing with Facebook and Google, the technology's gotten ahead of the human ability to be able to bring those back into what culture and society wants. But Facebook and Google are also counting on AI to better target ads and drive their growth. Thanks to AI-driven ads on Facebook's Messenger and WhatsApp, one analyst estimates the two platforms have a potential of $20 billion in revenue over the next three to five years. One example, just last week, Fandango released a ticket-buying messenger bot for friends to plan trips to the movies. And to tackle that all-important brand safety issue, startup Zephyr places ads next to appropriate content on YouTube using what it calls unsupervised and supervised AI systems, which have people review videos to inform the algorithm. One thing's for sure, with AI powering the likes of this dragon, the better marketers can use their technology to understand who people are and what they want, the more valuable and entertaining brand messages will be for consumers. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Julia Borston at Advertising Week in New York.